Hello and good morning listeners welcome back to Almus Market Mornings your daily dose of global financial updates I'm your host Swaraj Raj Gopal and we have got you covered on everything from currency shifts to pivotal central bank decisions and important speeches plus you'll gain expert analysis on macroeconomic data that's shaping the market narrative right now join us for this episode and navigate the markets with confidence The eventful week has just started. Exit polls for the Indian election results was released on Saturday and that definitely will have a big bearing on the market movement today. But the actual results will be out tomorrow. And it doesn't end there for the Indian markets. RBI's interest rate decision will also be out this Friday and that's something markets should be keenly watching out for. Uh, morning JK, a lot of things to look forward to. How are you reading the exit polls? How should participants be placed ahead of the key events? Good morning. Uh... So the exit polls, uh, obviously, uh, we need uh, uh, confirmation from tomorrow's uh, uh, final outcome. But uh, if you assume that it's not too much varying from the exit poll numbers, it's an excellent uh, development for the country because uh, we have uh, stability, political stability for another five years. And that means you no know, economic stability also is going to be ensured. So that is a uh, key takeaway uh, from this election and th- th- very rarely that has happened for three terms you have a very strong government in place but just let's wait for tomorrow's uh, uh, you know outcome but markets are unlikely to wait uh, till tomorrow because the way uh, we are seeing the indications from the you know uh, offshore market and all that we are seeing that markets are already trying to discount this view uh, or rather this uh, uh, outcome uh, so we we are looking at uh, stock market uh, rallying by more than two percent. Uh, rupee trading closer to eighty three ten uh, might as well break eighty three if uh, you know if, if must market you know see some flows. So all that uh, is going to be there. Uh, but yes, we will take it with a uh, you know circums little circumspection until we get tomorrow's numbers. But uh, more specifically about the rupee, uh, if the numbers are as good as they are projected. Uh, rupee short term move should be very positive and a break below 83 will not be a surprise for me as we will not just look at the flows that are already expected but a lot more on a long term basis and will the central bank stand at a higher level to absorb these flows very unlikely so expectation of 80 to 50 is not out of the reckoning as far as I am concerned and also look at it uh, at least for the short term it's not just a political news, even various developments abroad are also supportive. Now, GDP, uh, uh, of course, Indian GDP also came better than expected at 7.8% versus 6.7% expected for Q1. Uh, it's an upgrade for the full year, uh, full year GDP also. But even if you <coughs> think uh, that the GDP number is boosted by higher taxes, GBA growth, which is a better indicator of growth, was uh, better. Uh, I mean, better than expected at 6.3 percent versus expectation of 6 percent. So overall, the Indian macro is also you know moving forward. Uh, then we had the EC uh, PCE core inflation, rather PCE headline inflation on month on month in US coming uh, uh, 0.1 percent lower, while other parameters were as expected. Uh, U.S. markets had a very strong rally that percolated in the Asian markets today. Then oil prices have changed down further, despite OPEC agreeing to keep most of their uh, output cuts well into uh, 2025. Now, uh, so that means um, it's not just the domestic political news, but also even the global cues for the rupee and the Indian markets are very strong. So at least we today have a very, uh, very strong market, uh, stronger rupee. Uh, lower bond yields and perhaps you know a very good uh, performance by the stock market as well uh, in and not not just because uh, people uh, go to cover uh, but also because uh, in anticipation of long uh, large flows in the coming days now going ahead uh, as far as indian rupee is concerned uh, the initial moves after the initial moves we will definitely wait for uh, tomorrow's confirmation then consolidate but then we also have a huge uh, amount of data uh, or events this week as you said rbi policy and then we have uh, ecb meeting coming up on uh, thursday various job indicators in us 
uh, culminating with the non-farm payroll on Friday. And we also have the final reading on the PMI manufacturing and services for various regions. So we have very, uh, it, this is going to be a super busy week as far as Indian markets are concerned, both on domestic factors as well as on the uh, global uh, markets. Uh, uh, you know, uh, buzz of positivity in the market, but of course, uh, we, we, we should keep our uh, expectations uh, uh, in check uh, uh, so that, you know, we await the final outcome tomorrow and then take things forward. Thank you. Thank you, JK. And uh, of course, as you mentioned, offshore markets have started discounting the exit poll results. Uh, equity is showing a higher opening to the tune of 2% uh, rupee appreciation on the cards. But please, please do remember exit polls are based on a very small sample survey. And any surprise on the actual results might actually impact the movements uh, that might happen. Uh, as JK mentioned, a lot of events to look forward to RBI monetary policy as well as the ECB rate decision. Uh, on Friday, uh, of course, the US PC had come uh, on a month on month slightly lower. Uh, oil prices have gone down despite the hefty production cuts in place. So, a lot of things uh, which are happening in the global markets and in the Indian markets. Uh, so, so do tune into this space to catch up on the latest news. And that's it from us today. Thank you so much for listening.